Today we are living in a world that we have 735 million people facing chronic undernourishment. A world where we have 3.1 billion people that don't have access to healthy diets. At the same time, we know that the agri-food system is contributing substantially to violate six of the nine planetary boundaries. We have a great challenge because we have to transform our agri-food systems in a sustainable way and at the same time produce more with less to be able to reduce the levels of hunger and chronic undernourishment. Colleagues, what we really need is to have good food for all for today and tomorrow. Today, because we need to increase availability and access to healthy diets, and tomorrow, because we need to do the same over time, which means that we need to be sustainable. That's exactly what the Hand in Hand Initiative wants to do. The Hand in Hand Initiative started a few years ago, and now we are going to have the third investment forum happening between the 15th and the 17th of October of 2024. The Hand in Hand Initiative, what it's trying to do is to bring a country-led and country-driven initiative to attract investments to resolve problems that countries are facing in locations where the agri-food system can really make people move out of poverty in a sustainable way. What we want is to look at locations where transforming the agri-food system by reducing bottlenecks and making realize their potential will move households' income from less than $2 per capita per day to around $7 per capita per day, which is what we need to move them out of poverty sustainable. The Hand in Hand Initiative today is operating in close to 70 countries in the world. And these are the poorest countries, the countries in most need. And every year we bring the Hand in Hand Investment Forum where we attract these countries and these investment plans that we work over time with them and where they bring, the ministers will bring their investment plans to be able to get the funding that is required to move them forward and to accelerate this transformation. These initiatives have already proven success. This will be the third investment forum. In the third investment forum, we brought investment plans from more than 30 countries on around $3.1 billion. In the second investment forum in 2023, we brought 31 countries to regional hand in hand initiatives with a request of $16.5 billion. These initiatives come over all around the world, from Africa, Asia, and Latin America. And in 2024, we are trying to bring more than 30 countries and a significant request for investment. But why this is so successful? It's successful because we are using territorial approaches in the countries. We are targeting areas where the country knows that there could be a huge agricultural potential but for, because of some bottlenecks, this cannot be realized. And these investment plans are trying to resolve that challenge. It's also successful because we bring these investment plans to this roadshow at the Hand in Hand Investment Forum, where the ministers will come and present their cases, but also FAO supports enormously to attract international financial organizations, multilateral banks, regional banks, the private sector, and also non-profit entities like Gates Foundation, Rockefeller Foundation, IKEA Foundation, Mastercard Foundation. Countries will be able to present their investment cases, and at the same time, they have two entire days to do bilateral meetings with these potential investors. Of course, we don't expect that in that day, all the investment will happen, but it's going to be catalytic to be able to attract these investments so that investors can look and work with the countries to resolve these problems. So I invite all of you to come to the investment forum and I invite all of you to keep contributing to what we are doing because we are accelerating the transformation of the agri-food systems. So I will see you then on the 15th of October here at Rome headquarters at FAO. Thank you.